Hello. In this video, we're going to demonstrate how to transfer a ticket from Napa Tracks to AutoTextMe. Ticket transfer is as simple as getting a few pieces of key criteria. We do just need the customer name, the phone number, and the year, make, and model of the vehicle. Those three things are gonna be sufficient to get the ticket to transfer in as long as your creation date is a recent date. It generally needs to be within the same day or up to seven days back for the ticket to transfer. What you're gonna do then is simply click the status button and then hit save and close. Now, I want to demonstrate this live, but I wanna show you this with adding the reason the vehicle's here as a part of the process. This is a key piece of input that our technicians are gonna use later on in the digital inspections. Let's take a look. What we're going to do here is add a note to the work order. And this note is gonna have an item name. We're gonna use the term customer concern, but this needs to also have that RVH in that item code. Having that RVH is what's gonna trigger us to look at that note. And then you put anything you actually need in that note field here on the right part of your screen, whether it's a courtesy inspection, uh, a diagnostic concern, get as many details as you can. These notes will go into auto text me directly for the technician. We're also gonna apply the technician here. Applying the technician does involve the user mapping component, and that will show up in Auto Text Me as soon as we transfer this ticket. And we mentioned the criteria. Once we do go and actually click on the status right here at the top, we're gonna to change this into that repair order. And when we do hit that save or save and close button, that's what triggers this thing to go straight into Auto Text Me. And this is how it will look. Here's our ticket in Auto Text Me. You can see it's checked in. You can see that we have our technician assigned. It automatically will be his last priority. And if you do open up that digital vehicle inspection, you'll see that the reason the vehicle's here is a note that has been added to that concern section right here at the top section of the DVI. One thing that's important to note, as I mentioned, is that you can add a work order note from the symptoms area. This is gonna be set up on your adapter. These options are both referenced on our training page directly on the website. So if you wanna look and evaluate which method your team is either using already or would prefer to use, that data is there for you. And if you need any assistance beyond that, there's a question mark button at the top of your page and auto text me, our support team would be happy to help.